Welcome back, YouTube. I hope you all had a lovely couple of days since the last episode, and I hope you enjoyed the last episode. It was fun for me. We're approaching from the other side today because I rem recall that I we didn't in the last cl um, episode, and it still looks pretty good. I'm happy. I'm happy with the buildings we did last episode. I have, as I said, I would come and done the interiors between episodes. Ladders. The only downside with those things is that I don't think I can... There we go. Very basic, simple interiors. I've done the other two as well. Um, the bigger house obviously is a bit more extravagant, as the stone brick would imply compared to the cobblestone. But I think this is starting to look very good. It looks like a village. It looks like a populated village now. Let's add this road in. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing back there, but something will happen back there. I rest assured, I promise. I wanted to show you guys this. I've updated the map in our wizard shop, and that is starting to look very nice. That is starting to look quite like a village, which is the goal. Ultimately, that is our goal. There you can see where my cows and my sheep have moved to. Um, I relocated them from here and from there. Anyway, today we're finally starting the preparation for the big ship build that I've been looking forward to since, oh, I don't know, episode 5? 4 maybe? I have done a bit of prep work, although this, I suspect, most of this won't even be noticed when we're done, because I plan on raising the docks up. I think I did mention it when we were working on the fishing hut. Um, I was thinking that we'll start it around here. But anyway, I do have resources to do this with. Let's go ahead and drop off everything that I'm not going to need for now. And let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff. I did realize that I don't have spruce stairs. So I'm going to go and grab those real quick quick um, yeah let's let's do that um, yeah so I'm gonna raise the docks up I'm thinking one block for now I'll see what um, how that works what I think about it in the end if I don't like it then hey I can always change it again um, but I think one block up would make sense because of this villages low-lying geography I mean, this is all very low. If the tides do come in, it could potentially flood all of this. And I know that isn't necessarily realistic, but I think it makes some sense, at least. So, what I was thinking for something like this is that I just take a couple of slabs for now, and we come, and I'm thinking it should start around here. All right? So we do that. And then it needs to come up a block. Now, I want it to go out over the water a little bit. Not a whole lot, but some. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it being nice and wide, necessarily. So this would be its inner edge. And we're go I'm going to line that with these. So I'm going to do that all along the edges. And I'm going to do it on the outside as well. And then, every now and then, I'm, I'm not sure how many blocks yet, but we give it a post, right? Something like that. Then this is going to wrap all the way around. And I'm thinking it's going to go all the way to that point. And we can take the village extended that way if we need to, but the thing is, I don't necessarily want it to interfere with the fishing hut. I mean, he was probably here first. He's might be a bit of an older fellow who was here before the village became a big trading outpost, um, a midway station. So I think the docks might have been built after he, he had already erected his little pier. So the docks, I don't think, ha are allowed to interfere with him. So I'm thinking that they start right here. And that they then extend and wrap around that way. And then we can have several piers extending out along its length. 
so that's the plan I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a do a bit of a section and I'll bring you guys in for an update when I have something more significant to show you so that's more or less what I was thinking and I think I'm quite happy with it I think that works pretty well there are some things that I'm still a little uncertain of one being that I had originally intended on lining the inside with the spruce stairs and that creates a bit of a definite variation difference between the stone brick edging and the spruce interior and I don't know if I like it or whether I don't I think that I'm going to put it in see what I think because as always I can very easily come in and change it out if I decide that it doesn't work at all in the future because that it reads as a something not necessarily as anything significant but at least then it reads as something whereas this is just nothing if that makes any sense to you guys at all the idea is just to create something that the that captures the eye without necessarily capturing your attention little details like that another thing that I was thinking is this road now leads up to there coincidentally it leads to a nice spot but I was thinking that we need multiple steps up onto these piers and coincidentally the road leads into a very nice little nook in what I've now made um, laid out as the docks and I think that is an ideal spot for another little entrance onto the docks we can have multiple maybe one on that point and one on the edge as well um, at the very point at the very tip and then this is now supposed to follow more or less the sand line that I've drawn out here I have I've stolen the left half of the map from the wizard hut just f for this because without an aerial view it is very difficult to get the inside curve and the outside curve to match up in a way that I think works makes sense so I'm using the maps instead of say flying up and down with creative mode in this case um, oh I must not forget to eat but I think that works next thing that I was thinking of doing and I might as well do this while I have your attention Let's just throw those things in there is on this side this is going to become essentially a retaining wall right that sits between or each of these posts something like that this one is in the wrong place though something like that that sits just one block back from our stairs and then we need one over there and one over here now I will continue all of these down because see I haven't done it with the posts yet either where they you know continue until a dead end not something like this so if I put one there that see now it's got blocks surrounding it so that creates the illusion that it continues on into the ground where here you can quite clearly see that it stops there which is not what we want and I'll do the same thing with this stone wall with this retaining wall um, I also think I have some cobblestone with me that I'm going to texture put some texture variation into this stone wall but very minimal um, nothing extreme with that I just want it to look like the stone has some minor little cracks here and there that it's been there for about a decade or so um, but not for a couple of hundred years that it's cracked all over um, so yeah that's where I'm heading where my thought process is so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna lay out the rest of this thing and get it basically to the point where this section is now throughout the whole length of it and then I'll be back with you guys so we can start putting in some piers that jut out there we go we have a lovely little s-shaped 
dark so far. And of course the sun is busy setting just as I start to record. But yeah, I've implemented these spruce stairs all around and it's taken me quite a while and during that time I think they've grown on me. I like it. It's something that doesn't really mean much in terms of the dock's construction, but it is something that draws your eye a little. Looks a bit different. And I like that, and I think this is about as far as the main docks would go. I did end up adding another step over here. Um, so now we need to start doing the piers that protrude out from here. And I do have some ideas. Um, the one on the end, which is, which basically ends perfectly straight, I think is perfect for a pier protruding past that way. And for that one, I'm thinking, for, before I say that, let's say, I'm thinking that the these docks should be able to cater to ships of varying sizes. Okay, and it's not like a big city dock harbor that needs to or that will receive, for the most part, only very large ships and very large shipments. I think through this little village, some smaller shipments might also come. So I was considering maybe implementing three different size docks. So we have a dock that sits over here um, that starts on this point, and I'm thinking this one is going to be the full width, which I think is f six, yeah, six. I didn't actually count anything. I liked the idea of not exactly knowing how many it would be, so that it had a sense of randomness. In the same way, I didn't count the positioning of the posts either. But yeah, for, the, for this dock, which will be the biggest and the widest, I think it needs to cater to the largest ships, and the largest ships are the tallest ships. So they stand the furthest out from the water, so I'm thinking that here it goes up two full block heights and then juts out that way. How far, I'm not exactly certain yet. But coming in, I want to leave enough room between them that I can get some ships built that are docked at the moment. So I'm thinking that over here-ish, we could have the next dock, right? That sits around there, and I'll fix that. I'll take the stairs out over here. Um, but this one, I'm thinking, will only go up one block, one full block height, like that, to jut out that way. Then, we need a, do a dock up here for smaller ships. These are like the fishing, uh, fishing trawlers and not necessarily large merchant trading ships that come in just to exchange goods and then carry on. Now these, I'm thinking, are small ships. So, I was considering putting it over here, but this one would not need to rise up above the water. No, this one would simply continue out at this, at this same height that we have here. And it, I'm thinking, needs to be about three wide. And this should be enough space for it, uh, I'm hoping. But we could also make it diagonal and then protrude out. I'm not 100% certain, so I'll probably leave this one unfinished in today's episode until I have some ships built in here. Because I'm definitely going to be building a ship per pier that's docked, just so that one gets an idea of the scale of the ships that would use each of the piers. So I'd probably end up building a ship over here, and that would then determine how much room I have left for this pier to protrude, and that would then tell me, does it need to go diagonal and then out? I know that's not how it, how it would be done in practice, in, in real life, but this is Minecraft, so I can twist it and cheat it a little bit, and that I, th I think that'll be fine. And if it does go out diagonally, then yes, it is going to protrude with this gentleman's little fishing pier. But I do not think that's the end of the world, 
because one doesn't necessarily cast miles out in Minecraft. You only cast five or six blocks out. And that's further away, so you'd, he'd never hit the pier. Which is fine, I think. Also, he can cast out in that direction. I mean, they were considerate enough not to break down his hut to keep the docks going that way. I think he can compromise a little as well. But yeah, if we jump out into the water, I did go and finish our retaining wall throughout. Uh, it is not texture varied yet, just making sure there aren't any drowned. But I did continue everything down as far as it does need to go throughout the whole thing. Um, and it makes quite a difference. The cobblestone varying in I'll do probably between episodes I think. That's not something that is necessarily worth showing on camera now. It's a little minor little detail that one would notice in the passing by, hopefully. Um, even if one doesn't notice it, it is something that would bother me immensely if it's not done. So it's it will get done. I have an idea that I want to run by real quick before I cut and add in some piers. Is this area I think is a perfect place for a lighthouse around here somewhere. So I just want to demark it and I'm thinking right here is good because it has a view to the open ocean without necessarily if I build a big ship on this side of that pier without necessarily being completely blocked off by a big ship. Now I'm thinking that this would probably be quite large, well largest, so let's center it, let's center it there. We go one, two, three, four, yeah I think four is probably good, grab the shovel. One, two, three, four, like that. Yeah, that's four. Just like that for now. I'll come and... The lighthouse will be an episode of on its own. It'll probably be bigger than that, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So let's... Let's go five for now. When we get to the lighthouse episode, then I can decide and finalize sizes and proportions and shape and so on. Um, for now I just want to demarcate that that is where I'm going to be building a lighthouse in the near future. Because you need a lighthouse, otherwise ships are going to crash into things. And they, they won't necessarily know that, listen, you've arrived. This is where the dock is, so come in, come closer, come have a look, come dock. Bring us money into the town, things like that. That's not exactly what it would say, but we all know, we were all thinking it. So. Yeah, I'm going to cut here again, and I'm going to add in at least these two piers. I think this gap is big enough that I can add in these two. Then that one, I'll think about it. Maybe I add it in, maybe I don't. Um, there's a very good chance that I won't, and it'll just it'll be added in after I've got some ships done. There they are. I think they're simple enough that they don't necessarily stand out in a small village, but realistic enough that they'll work quite effectively. These being the larger docks, as you can see I've raised them up more than I have those. They also have the beam spanning down at the bottom. And I think that's that's okay. I like that. I might, looking at this now, come back and maybe just put in stairs on the edges because that might bother me a little, but it, maybe it might not. Never know. I did go ahead and place what I think is hitching posts. I know for a horse it is called a hitching post, and these technically have exactly the same function as a hitching post. Um, if your horse was 20 to 50 tons and sailed across water. But yeah, I think these will work perfectly fine. I used light grey carpets just as end caps on these logs. I think it light grey fits with stone the best. Pretty close, I actually. Hue wise, just just color wise, not necessarily texture wise. And yeah. 
I think that looks pretty cool. Now imagine some ships standing in there docked or coming into port. Some of them might still be in the ocean. Looking at our aerial view, that's about what we have. So yeah, the, the bigger dock is substantially larger than the smaller one. And I think that makes perfect sense. It's, it's realistic that way. Looking at it here, we might be able to squeeze the small dock in if we would just go here. But as I said earlier, I think I'll leave it be and I might change, might implement that dock after I've built a couple of ships. Um, before I end this clip, I want to give some tips and clues for those who struggle with docks. I know I struggled with docks a lot when I started playing Minecraft and even these aren't perfect. But I have learned a lot playing this game. And I think some other people might benefit from some of my lessons. One, docks usually have cargo and things standing on them, waiting to be taken into town or waiting to be loaded onto a ship. And that's very difficult to do if you build your docks half slab down. It might seem very tempting to do this when you start off to build your docks at that level because in that case you have the height variation and one wouldn't need the stairs that I've put in here on the edges to do this and that might look a bit better now but as one progresses and you want to start decorating your docks putting in cargo and things from ships that becomes pretty difficult and damn near impossible to do because you can't actually place things on on slabs one block down uh, another lesson, try and decide what type of ships you want your dock to cater for before you build the dock. Because that will determine the size of, the, of your docks, the, how far in they need to go, and what type of terrain in some instance, instances you'd be looking for beneath your docks. So for this dock, our big dock, this dock will be catering for large cargo ships that will be seeing a lot of traffic coming in and going out. Thus. It needs quite sturdy supports at the bottom that that one doesn't necessarily have. And it needs pretty open and deep ocean on either ends, which I'm quite fortunate to have here. If this, if this coast pulled through and was a lot shallower, I would not have been able to build large ships here in the future. So take into consideration what type of ships you want your docks to cater for, because that will determine the size of your docks how wide and how deep they need to go. This dock is a lot smaller than that one because it won't be catering for cargo ships of quite the same scope and size. Also, it has these islands, which I'm probably not going to be removing because I don't think it'll be necessary. The ships that'll come into this dock might be shallow hulled. Um, Aside from those, the only other lesson I have is continue your walls and your posts down. Don't stop them where they end because it might not look natural. It might look like the, they don't have any foundations and they're just supported by sand, which is really bad. The man who built his house in sand lost it. Um, but yeah, that I think this is a perfect time to end this video with the sunset over our piers. So yeah, you guys know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, subscribe to the channel for more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any other suggestions for changes and things that I could make to my docs, I'd love to hear it, please. But then, until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day.